Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect SharePoint to Power BI in 2024. So today we're unlocking the potential of your SharePoint data by connecting it to Power BI. This integration allows you to leverage Power BI robust analytics tools to gain insights from SharePoint, your SharePoint contents. So stick around as I guide you through the step-by-step -step guide. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use like the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can go and log in or open whatever browser you would like to have or to use. Then make sure to go to the CRL section. Just go to Power BI, hit the enter button, go to the first link and make sure to log in at your account. So if you have an account, sign in into it. If you don't, click on Get Started to create a new account. You can even click here on Start for free to start with a free option. Of course, especially if you have like your organization email, a personal email will not work. As you can see, you can even sign in to an organization or with security key if you have one. Same will be for SharePoint. So go to sharepoint.com to JSQ right away into the Microsoft.com. And you will have to, of course, if you have a problem in the language, just scroll down here. Uh, wait, what's that? Click again. Okay. Uh, maybe they have a problem at the moment. Let me just refresh. Anyway, so normally when you click on it, you'll be able to change the language. But it's not a big deal, of course. If you click in here, you'll be able to log into your account. If you don't, you'll have to click in here to see the prices and create an account. So you'll have to see the prices, check whatever suits you, see the benefits that comes with it. Click on buy. This is buy. I should take to know, which is buy. And just buy it. And then you'll be able to log in into your account. Now, once you have your SharePoint and Power BI, you will be able to start the connection. For me, I'll not be able to provide like some visual connection options because I don't have a plan on Microsoft, so I'll not be able to access the SharePoint. That's why I'll try to find an article in Apple. So, how to connect like Power BI to uh, SharePoint as we said in the video. I know how, I can even tell you like the steps. So basically you'll have to uh, enter, because I had access before in SharePoint and Power BI, but my access or my plan is ended. So I will not be able to do it at the moment or show you exactly how, but I will go through some articles. But for you, of course, if you wanna know what's just verbally and you wanna go and do it by your own, you can of course access your Power BI service and click on get data, enter a SharePoint site URL if you created one yet. If you didn't, I've made a video how to create one. You can simply go to SharePoint, create a site and add pages, whatever you want. Then click on OK to connect your SharePoint site and connect and authenticate. Then select SharePoint lists or document libraries, load data into Power BI, create a report and dashboard, and schedule a refresh if needed, as an example. And yeah, that's going to be it. Like, it's very simple. So let's just go here through some articles and let's see. So charts for your SharePoint list data and Power BI is an example. They give you here even some small five minutes video provided by Microsoft. And part one is example is connect to SharePoint lists. So this is of course in Power BI. So once you open Power BI, if you don't have one yet, you'll have to go and download it. And then open the Power BI desktop and in the home tab, of course, of the ribbon, select Get Data. Once you click the Get Data, go to Online Services. Of course, you'll find this and more. Go to Online Services, as you can see in here. And in the Online Services, you'll find SharePoint Online Lists. Simply go and click on that. Click on Connect or select Connect, as you can see in here. Now, you'll have to go and find the address, also known as URL, of your site on SharePoint of your SharePoint online site that contains your list that you want to connect it to Power BI. Uh, of course, from a page in SharePoint online, you can usually get the site address by selecting home and navigation pane 
or the icon for the site at the top. Mm -hmm. Then copy in the address from your web browser address bar. If you want, you can always watch a video of this step on how to do it. The same as this one, as you can see, I guess. Or no, uh, it seems like the same, not the same. This is short for SharePoint list. Uh, okay, it seems like maybe it's the same. Less data, less data, but I don't think I don't think it's the same because does not have the same amount of time. This has one more second, so just watch us both. Of course, you can even add some speed as an example to it if it's slow for you. And as you can see in Power BI Desktop, you can paste the address into the site URL field of the SharePoint Online List dialog box and then select OK. Of course, you might also or or you might not see a SharePoint access screen like the following image. If you don't see it, skip to the step 10. If you do see it, select Microsoft on the left side of the page. So if you do see it, select Microsoft. After that, select sign in and enter the username and password you use to sign in to Microsoft. If you don't see it, of course, just skip to step 10. But if you do, click on sign in and when you finish signing in, click on connect. If you don't see it, as we said, just go in here to step 10, which is on the left side of the navigator dialog box. Select the checkbox beside the SharePoint list you want to connect to. Maybe this one as an example, as they show you here. And then select load and Power BI loads your list data into a new report. So if you click on load, now we get into the part two, which is create a report. They show you even a small video. Uh, I guess this is definitely the same video. I guess, yeah. So if I go here, this is def definitely the same video as the first one. And it will show you as an example how to create a report. So on the left side. So basically here, you can read this whole article and watch this video, which is the same one as the first one. I guess the only different one is the second one. So just watch those videos, see what is in this article, and they will show you exactly how to do everything. For me, sorry for not providing some visual options because uh, my trial uh, or my plan is ended. So I'll not be able to show you exactly everything. But as you can see, this article shows you everything for you. So there you have it. You successfully know how now to connect your Power BI with SharePoint in 2024. Now you can harness, of course, the analytical power of Power BI to gain insights from your SharePoint data. If you have any questions or there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section. I'll try to do it as soon as possible. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.